NEW NEBRASKA LAW AIMS TO PROTECT YOU FROM SOMETHING ELSE TOXIC. YOU CANNOT SEE IT OR SMELL IT AND IT CAN KILL QUICKLY. TONIGHT WE'RE HEARING FROM A SURVIVOR WHO SAYS THE SCARE STARTED IN A PLACE YOU MIGHT NOT EXPECT. KETV NEWS WATCH 7'S JEREMY MASKELL JOINS US LIVE WITH THIS NEW STORY. YEAH, BRANDY, CHANTEL RIDGELEY IS LUCKY TO BE ALIVE. THAT'S WHAT DOCTORS TOLD HER AFTER SHE WAS POISONED BY CARBON MONOXIDE AND SHE DIDN'T KNOW TO GET MEDICAL HELP FOR HOURS. I HAVE TWO OF THEM. Chantel Ridgely now has two carbon monoxide detectors in her home because two years ago, that sound saved her life during a nap. I just wasn't feeling right, and I had talked to my roommate, and um, my roommate was kind of concerned because I just wasn't being myself. Doctors at Nebraska Medicine diagnosed it carbon monoxide poisoning. It was through the ventilation, uh, the laundry room, the lint had caught fire. Um, and the downstairs ended up burning a bit, but um, I mean, there wasn't actually like flames coming up. These hyperbaric oxygen chambers pump oxygen back into blood systems, forcing the toxic gas out. A lot of these are needless, uh, uh, needless poisonings. You know, a simple carbon monoxide detector can prevent this. Dr. Jeffrey Cooper testified in favor of a bill signed by Governor Ricketts requiring a carbon monoxide detector in most homes, apartments, and other buildings after January 1st, 2017. And then this is the carbon monoxide detector. Captain Melanie Bates works to get grants and with the donor funded First Responders Foundation to get smoke and carbon monoxide detectors in low income homes. It was amazing the amount of people who would let us into their homes and, and show us their, their detectors and they weren't, weren't in working order, um, the batteries were removed, um, or they just plain didn't have a detector. Whether it's donated detectors for families in need or families buying their own to comply with the new law. Ridgely says it's some of the most meaningful money she could spend. It's just so simple. Put one in your house and it'll save, it could save your life. So that law we mentioned takes effect January 1st, 2017. It'll be tied to building permits, according to the state senator's office that sponsored it. If you want help to get smoke detectors and CO detectors in families' homes, if you want to help, you can visit the firstrespondersomaha.org website. If you cannot afford a smoke or CO alarm, visit omahafire.org for more help. Brandy? Thanks, Jeremy.